Ruben, I, I interviewed your teammate, Xavier Davis, mm -hmm. and he said if he guarded you at practice one-on-one, -on -one, you wouldn't score on him. H how would you like to respond to that? X, you know the real, and if we had practice film, I would definitely show you what I'd do to him. But we're not going to speak on that. I'm going to let him have his moment. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like he's been around Reading for about 20 years now. Mm -hmm. How much has his experience helped your whole team? A ton. He's been here since his seventh, eighth grade year, so him and his leadership is ridiculous. Like, more than you guys even see on the court, like whether it's off the court with school or just leading in general, getting us motivated or getting us hyped by practice, he just does everything that we need him to do, and he's probably the best leader I've ever played with. So just having him on the court is always great. That third quarter... Did you feel like you were in a zone there and, and just couldn't miss? Yeah, yeah. I, I heard the fans talking too much, so I, I kind of clicked in. But, no, nah, it was just we were moving the ball, and Joey and Miles were finding me in our, in our, in our spots, and uh, Daniel was hot, so it was just everything was flowing well. And then X was uh, scoring a lot of layups down low, so, yeah, it was just everything was going good, and our momentum was great. The Burks Catholic fans were talking to you? Yeah, yeah. Maybe not a good idea? Nah. <laughs> What, what did you think of the crowd? I don't know if you're aware. This is the first sellout that they've ever had at, at this gym. Um, it, it feels great. I love the crowd, whether whether it's our crowd or their crowd, because it's always it's always building. How would I say momentum? Like just just being scoring and shutting them up is just great. It's a great feeling as a player. So when we get to do that and keep going on our runs and our crowd is going crazy, it just it feels great to have. And then just hearing their crowd just get quiet and quiet more and more through the game it just feels good this was tied at halftime what what do you think changed in your favor in the second half we we're moving the ball a lot more the first half we were running a lot of pick and roll offense trying to expose the pick and roll and we were running a lot of pick and pop and daniel was hitting his shots so just getting the ball into uh into just his movement and getting the ball hot it was just getting better shots and uh we had players able to score better it seemed like they wanted to run with you guys. Do you, you think that pace actually helped you in the long run? Yeah, definitely. We know that nobody can run with us. I've said this a thousand times. So just keeping the ball going, and we knew that they were going to snap eventually because pushing is not really their type of play style. So just kept, since we kept pushing it, it's just time for them to break. So they eventually broke, and we took advantage of that. There was a funny moment in the, the fourth quarter. There's Coach Perez. It's a nice jacket. Uh, fourth quarter your, your bench was counting out your passes mm -hmm. have they done that before and, and is that something coach Perez has told them to do yeah we do that all the time when if coach P doesn't feel like there's enough ball movement we like to get the ball moving in 10 passes so whether it's getting to the 10 pass or just it's just keeping the ball moving so the more we keep the ball moving the better shots we get and we got a lot of good shots when we're moving the ball what did you think of Daniel's performance tonight that's Daniel that's Daniel no more to be said. <laughs> How important is his inside-outside game, the, the fact that he can score on the block, but he can also shoot the three? I feel like that's what uh, differences from a lot of people because a lot of people could just shoot and a lot of people could just drive, but he can do both. He can shoot, dribble, pull up. If you're under the rim, he could dunk on you. He could finish. He has post game. He can shoot free throws. He can do everything, basically. So just having him there is just always great. And you've seen him a couple chase-down blocks. That Daniels is an all-around player, so having him is just, makes the game so much easier. They have a good point guard, too, in J.J. Yeah, yeah. Jordan. What's it like trying to defend him? I feel like it's good for our experience because when we get to the playoffs, we're going to see a lot of teams that are just have great guards that can get downhill and hit out to the shooter. So just playing a team like that and a great a great player like J.J. was just great, to, great for the experience. Well, thanks for your time. Thank good you. luck the rest of the way. Thank you.